Well, good afternoon or good morning, whatever the case may be. Resting pipes here. And uh, here happens to be in uh, Almont, Ontario. Almont's kind of beautiful. You see the building behind me. It's kind of nice, eh? Very nice. Uh, Almont, this is pretty cool, actually. I love that old, uh, look at that, eh? Black Watch tobacco. I'm here for the uh, antique store behind me, which is gonna open uh, in about 12 minutes. I'm jumping around a little bit here. Anyway, 12 minutes, I'm here on a pipe search because a friend of mine, Tragic Alien, bought two pipes here, a Komoi and a Parker. Uh, he's still spiffing them up and getting them clean. Uh, he got them for nine bucks each. Nine, nine dollars, if you can believe that. So uh, he said he left some behind. He's a crazy man. I mean, crazy. Who does that, right? Oh, you're over here. Still learning how this camera thing works. Anyway, I'll post a little bit more of the uh, video uh, of the search inside if I can. I'll have my uh, mask on. Give me more of that uh, sidewall. It's beautiful there. And as you see behind me, there uh, Almont's quite beautiful here. Lots of nice little restaurants, antique uh, places. There's another one here called Nine Lives Antiques behind me. Uh, and then the main one that I, I like going to. And uh, I actually, on another video, I'll tell you about when my son and I came here uh, and the pipe that he found me. It was it's pretty crazy. Anyway, uh, we'll check back after. One of the sellers in the antique store saw that I was perusing the pipes in another cabinet and pointed this one out to me. He opened up his cabinet and took out this long church warden pipe. It's still in the original box, he said to me. The price was $95 Canadian. The pipe was in okay shape. My first impressions were that it didn't feel very substantial in the hand. The length was nice. The box was neat to have. There were some knocks and small dents around the bowl, and the pipe had been smoked a few times, but it wasn't nasty. He saw me thoroughly examining it, more for curiosity than interest in purchasing, and he says to me, because I'm here today with you, I can offer this to you for $80 if you like. Well, that was really nice of him. He left me to consider, and I turned around to look through the other pipes that I was looking at before, and... But in the end, I, I didn't purchase this pipe, but I did thank him for his kind offer. Here are two of the pipes that I brought home with me, each of them purchased for $9. I brought them home, took a couple of photos of them, and cleaned them up a little bit. I'm not a professional pipe restorer, and I do not have a buffing machine or anything. It's all done by hand. Here you're seeing the pipes as they were purchased. They were generally in okay shape, the rims have some built-up blackening. The bowls were dusty with some of those vintage cobwebs. Uh, the stems were olive-colored from oxidation. Uh, the stems were on pretty tight as well, so I had to be careful in separating them from their shanks so that uh, nothing cracked. The guild hall still had its stinger intact. I know there's some of you who hate these things. I used to have a K. Woody drinkless that had a stinger, but that was years ago when I was a newbie. And this is the first pipe in a long while that has one in it, so it'll be fun to take it out on a test run. The BBB is a really nice Canadian shape, beautiful color on it, and the stem is pristine. I'm really digging this pipe after my amateur restoration. Kind of happy with this find, thanks to Tragic Alien, who let me know that they were at the store. <laughs> 